Before discussing Fleming's left hand rule we will perform an activity to show that force acts on a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field. We will need a thin copper wire, electric cells, a horseshoe magnet with a strong magnetic field, a plug key, connecting wires and a stand. Now let's connect the circuit. First fit the copper wire at the two ends of stand. Then connect it with the wire. And connect the battery with the wire and plug key. Always remember that plug key should be open while making connections. Firstly we shall take a horseshoe magnet and keep it in such a way that copper wire is at the middle of magnet. When current is not flowing through the wire, the wire is straight. Let's mark the position of wire, point A. Now close the key, when the current will flow from top to end. The copper wire bends. Let's mark this point as point C. Now when the plug key is opened, the wire is back at its point A. Which shows that only in the presence of current and magnetic field the force acts. Now we will change the direction of current by changing the ends of battery. After closing plug key the current will flow from bottom end to top end of the copper wire. After changing the direction of current the wire bends but in the opposite side of point C. Let's mark this point as point B. The force acts on the wire is at the opposite side this time. From this activity we can conclude that, whenever current flows in the presence of magnetic field, a force is exerted on the conductor. Now we will learn that how can we find the direction of force exerting on the conductor with the help of Fleming's left hand rule. In this rule, the left hand thumb, index finger and middle finger are stretched so as to be perpendicular to one another. The index finger shows the direction of magnetic field. Middle finger shows the direction of current and the thumb shows the direction of force acting on the conductor. Now let's apply this rule. As you can see that current is flowing through the conductor from top end to bottom end and wire deflected towards point C. So let's verify Fleming's left hand rule. The forefinger, middle finger and thumb should be perpendicular to one another. The forefinger shows the magnetic field of the magnet. Middle finger shows the direction of current. And the thumb shows the direction of force acting on the conductor. This is how Fleming's left hand rule works. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the like button.